Yeah, I had no idea about uh, this movie, and nor did I know that Jared Leto uh, was going to be um, playing Morbius. Um, I really don't know too much about Morbius. I remember him in Spider-Man, the animated series. I remember him being discussed quite a bit. I think Blade was hunting him in an episode, maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was what what happened. I think Blade was hunting Morbius because he's a living vampire. I know for a fact that like uh, he had some rare blood disease or something like that. I know that's pretty... I don't know if they've changed that, but that's what it used to be. He had some rare blood disease. He tried to fix it. Or tried to cure his disease and then ended up becoming the living vampire known as Morbius. So, I have no clue of this man's powers or like anything like that. So, this is going to be a pretty raw injection for me to just dive into this. Now, um, just a little bit of discussion before it. I'm assuming that all of this is happening from Sony's side because you know, of all the talks of that, this is going to be the last Spider-Man movie in the MCU because Sony wants to do their own thing. You know, they already got the Venoms going and stuff. Now they're going to have Morbius, probably do Spider-Man, combine it all together. One happy story. I actually think that's kind of why Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man is called No Way Home because he's going to have no true way to go back to the MCU as we know it. You see what I'm saying? It's going to be a whole nother beast. So we'll see if, you know, if my predictions are right in that. But I feel like that's what Sony's setting up for. So, all righty, Bill Blighty. Let's, uh, let's boot her up. I'm very curious about this. What up, TK? New Chucky comes out tonight, too. God damn it. Too much shit to watch. You need a doctor? See, there's the rare blood disease stuff I was talking about. So, that definitely seems like it's the same thing. I am a doctor. See? So, he's trying to cure his own shit. This movie's going to be good. I should have died years ago. If you're gonna run, do it now. I don't know. That looked interesting. So, so what? He, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna actually start reading some comics on Morbius because I'm really curious as to like how he actually got his powers in the comics. Was it from just him like going out to the middle of nowhere and like slicing his hand and having bats kind of just run rampant with him? Dr. Michael Morbius, you've been missing for two months. When you're a stranger. Then you were found on a container ship that washed up off a of long island. Is he feeding on people and shit? Yup. What did you do to yourself, Doc? Oh, Tyrese is in this? Listen, man. I wish I knew. It worked. Not exactly. So he can do sonar? I don't know. Special effects look pretty meh. I but I mean, it is a trouble. In some form of bat radar. Whoa. You, you know what? That doesn't look as bad as they were shot. I saw people showing stills of this, and I was like, I need to check this out. But this actually doesn't look that bad. Like, I kind of like how the sonar is. Form of where it's like he doesn't even he can barely he's like some form you know what i mean like it's not it's not some kind of like i mean i don't know how it's working i couldn't tell you what it's doing right there but it just that that that, that, that actually looks pretty fucking cool and what i also like about this as an idea is the fact that morbius is a fucking doctor you know, so he's going to be able to like kind of analyze himself, not like Peter or really any of them niggas. Any, anybody who's been anybody who's been, um, you know, a superhero in the last like decade. We really Doctor Strange is the only one. And he's he he very rarely acts like a doctor. You ever notice that? Like as soon as he got rid of that doctor profession, he threw that thing out the window, bro. But you would think that like him critically analyzing stuff would be a part of him now because it's kind of what you did for fucking you know years and years on end at least if you're really doing your shit but i mean you know i guess doctors can be dumb too but i think that this is cool that morbius is already like how he's just describing himself it sounds very um uh experimental like he's he's kind of testing the parameters and and projections and the powers of what he's capable of doing and then 
really seeing what he can bring to the table. From dying to being more alive than ever. It worked. Damn, Leto fucking... Dude, he's been changing up, bro, huh? Look at that man. Than ever. It worked. Not exactly. I have increased strength and speed and some form of bat radar. What else can I do? Because he tries to solve his own cure. He tries... He... He does the the fucking pathogen blood work for him to fix his own blood disease that he has because nobody could fix it. And so he kind of went into his profession. I don't know if he went into his profession because of that or eat one happened before the other. But whatever happened is he got the disease. Then he kind of pursued it. And then that's how he becomes Morbius. So I, I don't I do not know his origin story, though, of like. Like how he became Morbius, because on this one it looks like he just kind of slid his hand and some bats attacked him. I that might be what happened. I don't know. Somebody in the comments or somebody's gonna have to let me know how this motherfucker became Morbius, because I'm actually very curious now. Now, before we change to what he looks like, let's just look at a picture of fucking Morbius, bro. I always see him like yelling, so it's like hard to see him. See, see, he's like a big Spider Man dude. I remember him in the. I wonder if I can find the video. He's in the animated series of Spider-Man. I'm almost positive, bro. I'm almost... Po Does anybody remember that shit? Three, eight, two, seven. See, look. So this is him. Is Get this him? Nowhere. All my attempts to trace the origin of this DNA have proven negative. I have got to know how Parker created it. In a quick and I'm going to attempt to mathematically analyze the mutations that occur in the genetic structure of the blood. These numbers... They make no sense. What is causing them? No! No! Get out of there! That's way better! What the hell? See, this is what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> that was so much better! Go back! You're telling me <laughs> that this man, oh my god, that was so much better to me, bro. Are you kidding me? And I know it's a trailer, but think about it. They fucking flew out to fucking, basically where King Kong Island is. They're on Skull Island right now. They're on Skull Island. He's like, I don't need a doctor. I am a doctor. I am a doctor. I should have died years ago. People all over the world have my disease. I'm here to find a cure. We have to push the boundaries, take the risks. If you're gonna run, do it now. That if if that has to be how, bro. That has to be how. Would he just do that on a random Tuesday, survived, and was like, hmm, that experiment didn't work. Let me try again. And then it had, that has to be how he got his powers. That's terrible, bro. This shit is so much more, like, grounded. I don't know, man. And did you, like, hear his speech and shit already? Like, he just sounds, bro, oh, man, these movies, bro. We'll see, because I like everything else, but I did not know that until just now how much better it's done here then it's done over here, bro. That's crazy. I like the idea this fucking bat was just like fucking around in his house or wherever the fuck he is. He's like on a skyscraper though. But he's just like, he's so focused on his shit. He's, he's not paying attention because he's so worried about it. I don't know why there's a bat in the fucking skyscraper or whatever. Bat said, I'll do it again. The bite from the bat somehow made me feel stronger. I feel energy surging through me. Okay, so that's how he looks when he's final, okay? If you can bring the sympathy and the empathy level of this movie up while simultaneously still creating a villain, like, you could really fucking do well. Like, it's almost, okay, it could be a better Joker, basically. It could be a better Joker. Because Joker is like, surface level all the way through right majority of joker is taken from other movies you know taxi driver and 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 all these other things and then kind of compiled together to kind of wave into what it is it's a great movie i still really enjoy joker but 
it is just a surface level ass movie. You can't really get that deep and complex with it. But here you do have a chance to actually get a little bit more layered because Morbius is a doctor and he, you know what I mean? He's kind of dealing with the shit that he has to go through because it is a disease. So it's not like, it's not necessarily the same shit as a lot of characters. You know what I mean? Especially a lot of characters we've seen in the last, what, 15 years? Most of those characters usually make those decisions themselves, right? Like Batman chose to be Batman. You know what I mean? Fucking uh, Superman didn't choose to be soups. He's just born who he is. You see what I'm saying? That disease is just part of him. You see what I'm saying? Blade. That shit. Those people who are like born as that, you have that chance to give multi layers because it's something that they were born as. It's not like. <clears throat> and and he makes a mistake to get there, but you know what I mean? Like he him going for that was already his path. You see what I'm saying? So it's it's an interesting thing where you have have these situations. So I, I'm fucking curious, bro. I'm gonna go back to where we were though. We were right at where his eyes fucking turned all white. Yes. I wonder how long he's gonna be Morbius though. For him. Inside of him. He wants to hunt and consume blood. Go back. That looks pretty good. I mean, they should get rid of the fucking. I don't know why he has to go. I guess they're keeping the beard because reasons. Why do you think they're keeping the beard? Looks like he has been drinking chocolate milk or eating booty. It doesn't really look like a beard at that point, but it is dark, though. The movie's pretty dark in general. Is this shit rated R? And you control it. I don't know. Half the city wants to kill you. We haven't had anything this good since that thing in San Francisco. The other half wants to control San Francisco. I should stay in touch. Oh shit. See? Like they're Wait, so Keaton, wait, so, so yeah, so I'm telling you, it's all part of the Sony world. I'd do anything to save a life, but I don't know what I'm capable of. You save lives, you don't take them. Are you here to heal the world? Or to destroy it? See what I'm saying? Like, all right, the CG looks terrible, though. That looks pretty good. But the beard. They gotta let the beard go, bro. Here to heal the world. Or to destroy it. Who the hell are you, man? I am. I'm just kidding. It's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. <laughs> Interesting, bro. I'm kind of curious, though. I'm more excited for this than I haven't even seen Carnage or whatever. The sequel to Venom. I still haven't seen that shit. It does look decent, though. I'm down. Like I guess it was, it was exactly what I was talking about in the trailer before we even watched the trailer. It was like, you can do that fine balance. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Tyrese is in this?